awesome video. My name is Rachel. I teach art um, and I'm a mom and I want to share an exercise that got my daughter really into painting. So check out, follow the art fundamentals playlist, especially if you're in my class, you need to raise your grade. Okay. In this video, I'm going to start by reviewing the goals, the objective, um, and then in real time, you'll see me draw two color triads with my daughter, explore color mixing, and then teach her how to clean brushes. I'm telling you that this exercise got her super into painting and super excited. And I'm going to use this exercise to get my students super excited about painting as they go on into acrylic painting. Um, if you haven't done so yet, if you want to raise your grade and you're in my class, you could go ahead and you can catch up on your art fundamentals assignments. Follow the YouTube channel, um, check it out. Um, doing something simple like drawing eggs in a 3D way or drawing anything that's three dimensional around you or practicing your value, exploring different mediums that you've gotten in your art kit are all things that we do in this channel. So unpack your art supplies and actually use them um, and then go ahead and post all of those photos. I can't wait to hear where people are going with this channel. I'm so excited. And ultimately, I want to help like art educators too and parents get their kids into art. So um, I hope you enjoy this content and um, please let me know. Hit subscribe and let me know what else you want. Now I'm going to get into more of a real time lesson. So there's the color wheel. Yes, we hear it all of the time. It can't be explored enough. So in this lesson with my five-year-old daughter, we're gonna actually create a fun color wheel that isn't so constrained. So it's going to be white in the middle, and then we're gonna go out, we're gonna get darker. Now you'll hear me talk to my daughter about how she shouldn't use the color black so much when she's painting. So we are going to, I'm slowly gonna have a ton of white in the palette with her. So like my students, listen, you wanna have a ton of white in your palette. That's why you pick up that extra white. And we are slowly, ever so slowly in this video, please watch it in real time, don't skip. We are gonna slowly introduce colors and make them darker. Uh, we will start by drawing a triad. So again, the primary colors, just to review to my students, are blue, yellow, and red. And it really doesn't matter like what corner they're in, but those are all of our main colors. And then the secondary colors again, um, if you go ahead and you see, um, they are green, purple, and orange. So you could go ahead and see I'm labeling them right here um, live on the video. And we are going to do the colors in order. So throughout this lesson, I talk to my daughter about the colors that go well together, the colors that are BFS, like blue and purple and red and orange, and why we mix those colors together. So before you dive into acrylic painting, it's really important to like stop and think about color relationships, which colors go well together, which colors are opposite. If they're opposite each other on the color wheel, then they are different, they create contrast. On the opposite page of the sketchbook, we're going to put all of the dull colors. And the reason for doing that is we want to put our grays, our blacks, and our browns to the side because we want to think about skin tones in a different kind of space. And we also want to think about um, lights and darks in a different kind of space. I'm going to talk to my daughter in this video very much about the importance of maintaining and cleaning brushes. So during this lesson, you always want to put your brushes in the water and you want to make sure the acrylic paint isn't going to kill your brush because acrylic paint, so students, listen, all of my students will murder your brushes and then you'll be buying brushes again and again. So we are going to start by unboxing your awesome art supplies. So my students went ahead and got these great acrylic paints from Donors Choose. We'll unbox those and we will draw the uh, color triad and I will go through that. And we'll talk about how to take them out, how to maintain them. We will start the lesson by actually organizing the colors. So this is helpful with my students to do a color sort and talk about the color relationships before we even open it. Because when you open up the paint, it's a whole other ball game. And then I'll talk to her about how we just are using a ton of white. And I actually, in this lesson, talk about how I use tempera white um, to supplement because these acrylic pa paints come with a ton of white or they don't come with enough white. That's what I meant to say. And so you need to supplement with like a big jug of tempera white. 
I use no black um, while I'm doing the color wheel on the right because we don't want the colors to get muddy. Um, it's really, really important to do all of your warm colors at once and then do all of your cool colors. You'll see right here that Sophie and I actually stumble onto creating different skin tones. So we talk about how we make the skin tones with this particular like acrylic paint set set with like the orange. The orange color in this acry acrylic paint set mixed with some warm red creates all sorts of different skin tones. And so we make note of that and we talk about that. Then we just explore all of the different colors and I talk live about the colors that are really vibrant versus the colors that are very dull. We review simple things um, if you paint with us when you're unboxing these great paints, um, like how to maintain the paints, actually putting the top on top of the paints. Here we are, we're exploring different skin tones on the left. Do you have to do your color wheel and your value scales exactly like ours? No, but make sure you follow us and you're just trying to mix different things. It's very much the point of this. Um, I keep my video in real time after this because I want my students to get a sense of all of the mistakes that we make and all of the discoveries we make because art very much is about exploring. I've also found like as an art teacher in my class that it's really helpful to have YouTube videos that I can play and as I walk around the room so I can see what students are doing. My students, please remember to post many photos of your progress during this lesson to Seesaw so I can give you live feedback. And as you could see, like I am using different brush strokes like stippling and blending. So my students, I encourage you to remember our shading techniques that we went over in the art fundamental videos. And you can stipple or you can hatch or you can blend with paint. And I really want to see you exploring that too. So you could see sometimes I'm making dots with Sophie. Sometimes I'm stippling. Sometimes I'm blending. But we're really exploring different colors. We're even adding white in because the goal in any sort of painting is to think about having a slow transition between light and dark and to make that, you know, intentional. As I was doing this lesson and going through it with my students, my daughter was having so much fun, like discovering they're in blending right there. So in order to blend, the paint needs to be super wet. Acrylic dries really quickly, side note. So if you want to blend, you have to blend fast. Otherwise, you're going to be stippling or painting over it. Um, and like she just fell in love with so many of the colors that we made. And so she started doing this awesome painting on the side. So if my advice to like any sort of parents out there is to paint with your kids. Like as your kids are doing art and as your kids are creating, it's really important that you create art um, at their side and continue to do that and explore and do parallel art and parallel painting. Um, we go all the way out to the edge of the um, the color wheel just because we really, again, the goal is to go from light to dark. For this color wheel so far, I have used no black. And I'm going to really encourage my students, like a lot of their still lifes and their different artwork has been coming out really kind of like dark without a very much light. So I'm going to tell you guys, because you're in remote right now and I can't see you a lot of the times, don't use so much black use it very, very rarely. You should hardly be mixing it because it'll bring down your color way too fast. If you're going to bring down your color, maybe introduce some dark blue mixed with some burnt sienna, Everyone, which is a brown color. Welcome. Okay. And here's the video in to, real time. Uh, Hope you enjoy. Sorry, subscribe. With the paints that you picked up. Um, but first I just want to introduce our special guest, Sophie. She's my kid and she's here with us. We're filming this during spring break and she has been so excited about these. So I promised her she could, she could be a part of it. Okay, so to start off, everyone, you need, what is this, Sophie? A cup of? Water. A cup of water. And you should have some paper towels nearby, the paints. You should have your paint brushes, and you should have your palette. Also, it would be good for you to have your extra thing of white. You should have picked this up from school, extra thing of white. What we're going to do is we're going to do a review of color to kick off this new unit. That's yours. And to get us excited to pick things up. Yes. So this is mine. So what we're going to do is we have a pencil here, a Blick pencil. You should have gotten Blick pencils too. Um, where's my pencil? Your, yours is right here. It's not super sharp because we can't find a sharpener right now. Don't judge. Okay. But we're going to make a really rough color wheel. We don't, we're not even worried about it being perfect. 
Okay, and we're just going to think about the colors we're gonna use for our mask project as we do this. So we'll do a think aloud too. Okay, the main colors are blue, okay? And then you gotta think of a triangle all the way across when you're thinking about the color wheel, okay? So blue, and on one side you have yellow, and then... Mommy, is it because it's upside down triangle? It's okay if it's upside down. Okay, and then you got red, okay? And then, Sophie, what does blue and yellow make? Blue and yellow make, hmm, green. Very good. And what does blue and red make? Blue and red make purple. Very good. Or violet. And what does yellow and red make? Give you a hint. Can you go down and try and get I know. My students orange. tell me that all the time. Orange. Okay. What's, what's that? It says blue. Okay. So B. Blue. Yeah, you could put a B. I would put the B at the end of the triangle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. B L U E. U E. Mm -hmm. And violet. Purple. Or sorry, this is red. So this would be red because this is the. I end already of... made a color wheel in in art class. Mm -hmm. Let's tilt your thing a little bit. I already made an art a, a color wheel in art class. Awesome. Right. Do I you have think... an art class. Do you think there's such a thing as too many color wheels? Mm. No, right? Especially What's if we're going to be one painters. That goes here? Uh, put, I would put red at the end of one triangle. Red, R E D. R E D. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Very good. And then put yellow down here. So yellow. these are the main colors. Mm -hmm. Yellow. Y E. L L O L L O W W Okay, so here we go. Red or blue, yellow, red, and in between you got green. Let's put green over there. Green. Mm -hmm. Green. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm just gonna add an R. And then in between blue and red you have Purple. Purple. Yep. Mm-hmm. R P L E. Mm -hmm. e. And then in between yellow and red, when yellow and red makes what? Yellow and red makes green. Orange. Yellow and red orange. makes orange. So put an or orange. Orange. Okay. So this one, one side of the color wheel, that's like warm, right? So these are our warm colors, like red, yellow, and orange. They're more like fire. And then green, blue, and purple, that's more cool. So we want to explore warm and cool colors for today's lesson, okay? Okay, so let's start off by organizing them like on the color wheel. So Sophie, you do the honors. Are we opening this? Yeah, you are opening this. This is the unboxing. And where's the pink scissors? You know what? We could just do this. We could just poke it like this. Okay, you get to open it. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, everyone at home, this is a big deal. Can we thank the donors at Donors Choose for making sure every student has a thing of paint? Also, thank you, Miss Boteo, for supporting this endeavor so exciting it's a really big deal that you all have your own acrylic set wow look you even have little fancy brushes inside and, 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 should we and save this box, box to stay organized we should save the box mm -hmm. we should save the box okay so what i want but you to the, the top is upside down what i want you to do sophie what take the colors out i want you to organize them just organize them for now on my color wheel Let's move your color wheel to the side for a second. Okay. Mm, okay. Where can I you put? Can, can, I want you to organize them in order of the colors. So can you put red, 
Yeah, where, where do you think red goes? Can you find where it goes? All right, it goes right there. So what I want everyone to do is organize their colors. Where's yellow? Right there. Mm -hmm. So we can kind of see which colors go together. And we can start to think like, well, what do we want to have for our mask? So this is like yellow orange. So that would go like there, yellow orange. Okay, where does this go? Mm -hmm. So we're kind of like sorting the colors. Hey, where's violet? Well, purple and violet are kind of like the same. Okay, keep organizing. Violet. Okay, okay. yep, this is left over from the portrait. Very good. Okay, uh, blue, what, what, what are some other colors? Do you got green or blue? Um, I got green and blue. Mm-hmm. Fabulous. Where's green? Mm -hmm. oh. Green. So, Sophie, for the upcoming mask project, I want you to pick some warm colors. So, we got like orange right there and some cool colors. I want everyone to have warm and cool. And I want you guys to pick colors opposite each other for on the color wheel so like what I mean by that is you want to pick colors that are different so can you pick a cool color for me that you would like to explore today Sophie cool <laughs> like cool co and when you think cool it's more like water <laughs> oh you Sophie wants to explore pink mm -hmm. you want to do pink Pink is in water, right? You want to explore white? White, guess what? White, we're going to use a ton of white. Because white creates tints and gives us all sorts of beautiful colors. But if you're going to use a ton of white, you're going to get rid of it. I know. Well, that's why. I'm very good, glad you brought that up. That's why we have this. So, um, Sophie, if you were in my class, I would tell you to stop and take a picture and post this to Seesaw. Now, browns are, like, interesting. Browns, we're not going to put on our color wheel. They're kind of like neutral colors. So, you could put, like, your brown, your grays, your whites. They're kind of over here. Can but, I take... Yeah, you could take the brushes out. But these are the colors we're going to explore today. I'm not going to paint. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to paint in a second. So, this is... Even the brown... Uh, well, we're going to see what we have time, but I need you to pick warms and cools. So everyone stop, take a picture, post to Seesaw, show that you've organized, and I see that, see that how these are moving around, but show that you've organized the paint like in triads. So on one corner, you should have blues, one corner, you should have yellows, and in the middle, you should have the secondary colors. So you should have orange in between. So I want a rainbow circle, and I want you to post that to Seesaw. But yellow should be on one corner, blue, then red, which should be opposite. Green and red should be opposite each other, right? Because they're complements. And you'll notice yellow and purple are opposite, and blue and orange should be opposite of each other. So I take a picture. Get out your paint brushes. Take a picture of your setup and all of your paints organized in a color wheel. Post to Seesaw, and we're going to keep going. Uh, all right, guys, for our demo... We're gonna have, we're gonna make some value scales with warm colors first. So what we're doing now is we're just exploring colors. Is it red? And I want you to have a ton of your white paint, but you wanna leave a bunch for your mask. Put the white in the middle. Yeah, that's kinda like a red. And I want you to pick some warm colors that you're gonna explore. I'm gonna get all the reds out. Okay, so Sophie wants to explore all the reds. Now again, this is just an exploration lesson. We're gonna leave paint left over for our um, for our mask, right? But we're just kind of practicing making different colors today. So Sophie's gonna squirt a little bit of red. Make sure you squirt from the bottom. Okay, yeah, so you're gonna squirt from the bottom, yes? But there's no... There's a little thing right here. You see the little silver thing, guys? So a little silver thing, so I think we can just take um, the end of the brush and poke in the middle. And there we go. So you can have one brush end that's kind of like, here, so hold this, hold this. 
And I don't have to say this enough, but you guys really, really need to have like um, an area where you can work, you know? Can squirt now? Okay, when you squirt your paints, so look, I'm cleaning the bottom of the brush after I poke that open. Squirt from the bottom, squirt from the bottom. Squeeze from the bottom. Very good. Okay, that's all we need, really. Look, just a little. We need mostly white. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we are going to drag a ton of white over. Mostly white. Ton of white. Okay? And Sophie, what do you think white and red are going to make? White and red are going to make pink. So you're just going to take a dot. And I want you to make the lightest red possible, which will be pink. And what I want you to do when you make your lightest is I want you to put it close to where it is in the color wheel and you're just gonna make a tint. Okay? Can I have a paintbrush? Mm-hmm. Right, grab a paintbrush right there. Grab one of the paintbrushes that came in the thing. So we this is so white. Look, Sophie, this is so white we can hardly see. We hardly see. Okay? So then we're gonna add a little bit more. Now, I, why, why do I use the opposite? I need your help. No, you know what? You can just use the paint that we put right here. Look, you can just use that. Okay, so what I want you to do, Soph, is I want you to take like this, this end, and see how I have no white on here anymore? We don't wanna get white in there. We want this to stay pure. And I want you to scoop a little bit, and I want you to put it there. Okay, can you do that? Mix it in. Now I want you to mix it up and I want you to make a darker tint. A tint is a color plus white. So really mix, mix, mix. And when you're mixing, you pull. Kind of like pull like that. Okay. Can I do? Mm -hmm. And a lot of this exercise, guys, this playlist is about... Now what do I do? Okay, so we have our tint right here. So we're going to make this close to red. And we're just going to try to make a kind of like a value scale. Look how quickly that got dark. Right? Do you think we can make a color in between there and there? Yeah. But okay. what color? Well, I feel like we need a lot more white. So I want people to observe how... Oh, look. Look at all that pink that I just got mixed in the white. Say silly, mommy. Silly, mommy. I get pretty impatient. But notice how this becomes kind of like a skin tone. Right? Like pink and white sort of makes a skin tone. But look, now we can blend them together. So you see how it's going from pink. The thing that everyone at home needs to know about acrylic is it blends fast. Right? And then it's like whiter in the middle. So I kind of like lost that color because I blended it all together. That was silly of me. But and it still looks like a beautiful color. I know. So we're like, thank you, Sophie. So we're discovering cool colors. Now I'm going to add more red. It's pink. And look, I could do like stippling. Can I and, do the stippling? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me make a darker color. Look at how dark. Now add some stippling as we get closer to the red. Okay. And we're just exploring different colors. Do you think we can make it even darker? Yeah. Okay, let's make it even darker. So how do I make it something darker? I add more what? Red. Yeah, now notice how. Or, 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 more, or more orange. Oh yeah. Or, or purple. I know. The, the, any color you have that you're working with. Now something everyone needs to know is acrylics dry really. Can I do the stippling now? Yeah, do some stippling. Uh-oh, did we get paint on your dress? No. Okay, try not to get paint on your dress. Can I have a napkin? Yeah. So something to know about this. Okay, make the, now there's a lot of red on the brush. Do you see? So look, I, I'm kind of like making different areas. What a beautiful color. So this is like red and a lot of white. Okay, now do stippling right there as we get closer to the point of the triangle. Stipple, stipple, stipple. Isn't that beautiful when you put different colors next to each other? Now kind of blend them up. Do some dots up here. So okay. the colors slowly blend in. Isn't that pretty? 
Yeah, but okay, okay, don't go too crazy because we want to leave some of this white because, like, we we because the white's so beautiful. The white and the red. Awesome. Okay, now what we're going to do is at the end of our color wheel triangle, we're going to put some of the pure color. And that's the color without any any white. So you can you put that down? Stipple that? Beautiful. Now how I did my color wheel in art class. Mm -hmm. How did you do your color we wheel? We found objects that were the colors. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Not I'm just paint. Okay, notice how I'm like putting the pure red on top and I'm making a slow transition from dark to light. This is kind of like a value scale. It looks so beautiful that I'm gonna about to faint. I know, it is so beautiful. Yay. And the key to making such a beautiful color wheel, everyone, can I tell you what the key is? Is like a lot of white, you know? Like that's why we picked up the like thing of white from school. Okay, you can't have too much white. Okay, um, I'm gonna click stop in the video and we're gonna keep exploring colors. Okay guys, so as we move on, um, Sophie decided the next warm color she wants to explore is orange, right? And we're exploring all sorts of different colors today. This is gonna be a long playlist, but that way you could go ahead, you could kind of click the videos that you wanna click. Okay, what color, what color do you wanna explore next? When are we gonna open the other? Well, that's time. We're going to keep opening them. So, Sophie, did we take the time to close the one we are using? So make sure you take care and you close the paint that you're using. Okay, which one do you want to do next? Which um, color? Can you pick a, pick a color? I said I wanted to do orange. Orange. Okay, fabulous. I, I said I wanted to do orange. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead. So can you squirt? So what are we going to do? Sophie, hand sanitizer isn't going to... Okay, you can use the opposite end of the brush. Now, notice how I have red on here, right? I don't want to get too much red in my orange, so I'm going to rinse that. I'm thirsty. Do you have some water? I do. Behind me, you can get that water bottle. There's a water bottle on the floor. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, oh, it's right there on the side. Sorry. It's right here. So I um, should... I still squirt it. You want to still squirt it? Okay. All right. So I wiped the brush and then I punctured it with the end of the brush. Okay, Sophie, come on. Put the top on the water. And notice how I still have a lot of white. I got a little red in. That wasn't good. It's because I'm sloppy. Where should it go? Okay. Do you squeeze from the bottom? Yes. Okay. Squeeze from the bottom. Okay. Now, something to remember. Please stay paint. Acrylic is it dries fast. So we'll, we we could we could play with mixing this. This kind of looks like a, a orange brown. Let's see if this has a color. It just says orange, but it kind of looks brown when it comes out. Okay, one of the reasons why I'm not worried about my tray being all dirty, so if we didn't like my tray, is because it's acrylic and it's all dry. Okay, ready, Sophie? Okay. All right. So everyone, in between colors, you really want to rinse. Okay, really, really, really rinse. And this this brush is going down at the bottom. Rinse, rinse, rinse. All right, what are we gonna do now? Hey, it's sort of the same color as this. Mm-hmm. Okay, what are we gonna do now? We're gonna dip some paint. Okay, so let's, let's pull a lot of white over and this will be where we explore orange. Okay, now. If we're just starting out with white, like I want the middle of the color wheel to be white, okay? See how the middle of the color wheel is pure white? Okay, so um, do I need a lot of orange or a little orange? Um, a little tiny, teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny bit. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little dot and I'm gonna put it there. You see how small that is? So if you say, un poquito. Un poquito, what does that mean? A little bit. Okay, and you see how it's just... Can I mix it? Yeah, you mix it up. Oh, no. It's okay. It's okay. Don't be upset. Don't be upset. Make sure you guys have a clean workspace. Whoa. Un patito. Okay. All right. Sophie, I think you just got paint on the phone. Okay. okay. So start to dab it right there. Okay. Where? Right in the middle. So we're going to go from light to dark. We're gonna make a rainbow color wheel. 
Okay, does that look orange at all? Do you see a little bit of orange? Let's zoom in so the viewers at home can see. Do you see a little bit? A little bit. bit. It looks tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny bit. Mm -hmm. but, but one dot makes a lot. One dot does make a lot. Okay. But one dot makes a lot. Sophie, you should market that. Okay, should we add a little more? Mm hmm Okay, let's add a little more. Oh, was that too much? No. No? Nope. Okay. Let's add some stipples in slowly. <laughs> and try to blend it in. Let's I'm gonna take another brush that's clean and I'm gonna try to blend them in. Cause oh, doesn't that look nice? Slowly going light to dark. Look at that. Wow. I like that. So again, this is a practice color wheel at home. Very good. Okay. Do you think we should add some more? Look, I'm blending. I'm adding white on top. And I'm blending it together. Do you think we should add some more? Okay, let's not go too far in. Okay, let's make it darker. Ooh, I like that, Sophie. I like that. This Does this kind of look like a skin color? Oh my gosh, Sophie just fell. You okay. good? You good? Yep. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more to make it darker. A darker tint. This To me, this feels more like a brown than orange. Okay. Ooh, can I get an ooh? Ooh la la. Okay. Can I paint that one? Mm -hmm. Okay, so add some stipples. Ooh. Notice how we're working with different brushes. Blending it all together. So you can like blend. Ooh la la. You can blend out in different sorts of ways, but this is all about discovering beautiful colors. Right? Your color wheel doesn't need to be perfect. You're just kind of exploring different colors. Going light to dark, but you want the middle, the goal, Sophie, is to have the middle be light. So have the middle be light. Okay, you wanna add some more? Yeah. Okay, so add more. Now we're gonna get even darker. Ready to mix? Yeah. Okay, going darker. All right, let's go out. Wow! Does it look pretty? It looks like a rainbow with all the orange. Right? It's so pretty, right? Now I'm going to take the pure color and put the pure on the color orange at the end. end. Okay, now I put some pure color. Yeah, so this is the pure orange at the end. So what we're doing is we're just exploring the colors. You want the pure color on the out. When I say pure, I mean the color without white. And this is a great, great painter exercise. Hey, it's also brown. Mm -hmm. Cause look at that brown. Mm -hmm. Should we try to mix some of the, the these two colors together and see what happens? Let's try to mix these two colors. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so this is when it gets fun. We're going to start to play a little. We're making a new color. I'm mixing this red and this orange. I think it's going to make normal orange. Okay, and we can make little things coming out, like another end, we can make a bunch of little stars. Okay, this one's more red, so I'm gonna put this over here. Is this so pretty? Ooh, I like that. Okay, now let's mix this with white and see what happens, okay? Okay, so I'm just gonna take a dot of this and mix it with the white. Okay, I feel like it would go there. Now there's a lot of red and orange on our paintbrush, so it's super dark. So <laughs> if we're gonna get like a white, if we're gonna get back to the tint land, to make sure there's no, no paint on your brush. Do you like that? That is so pretty. So now we're getting into skin skin land, right? Like different uh, I skin mean colors. Skin color. Yeah. So how did you make skin color? Tell them. Um, um, I, I got the red and orange and I dipped it in that color. Mm -hmm. Should we worry about this looking perfect or are we just exploring? We're exploring. Yeah, we're just exploring. So we're not going to trip about, oh my gosh, 
We just want to have different colors, different tints. Now I'm adding some white on top. Okay, I want the outside to be like dark. But that is beautiful, Sophie. That is so beautiful. Okay. You want the now are all skin colors that color? Um. Do all people have the same skin color? No. No. So we can explore later how to make like different colors too. Okay. All right. What color do you want to explore next? Should we do yellow next? I, at first I want to do a little bit more. Okay. Can I do yellow? Yeah, you can do yellow. Okay, guys. So in the same video, I'm going to add a primary color yellow while Sophie explores skin color. This is all exploring. Okay, so again, here we have, like, we're exploring different skin colors, but what happens when we add yellow? Okay. Well, yellow is sort of skin color. Well, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Maybe you could switch up your colors a little. Okay, so again, I wiped the end, and I'm stabbing the end of this. And again, make sure, did we put the top on the orange? Uh, Look, we didn't put the top on this one. Make sure you put the top on. Where's here, the orange? Here, put the top on this. I don't think that was the orange. I wouldn't worry. I, I already put the top on the orange. Okay, so notice how I squeezed from the bottom. Okay, and I'm gonna put this to the side. Wait. I already lost the top to the yellow. Guys, uh, you know, my students, they're probably like, oh, Miss Copera, she's so messy. And it's true. Okay, if I'm gonna make a yellow tint, I'm gonna pull a lot of white over. Notice how my white is still like doesn't have too many specks of stuff. Okay, and I'm gonna take a dot of yellow. I'm gonna move it over. I'm gonna make the lightest yellow ever. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna do my light yellow in the middle. So I could still see where I put like yellow. I wrote yellow. Okay, so Sophie, is this does this look a little yellow, this white? It looks half white, half yellow. Yeah, and that's what we want. Now we're going to add a little bit more yellow, and we're slowly going to make it darker. Now, Sophie, guess what? Yellow is the lightest color. Ooh, isn't this pretty? Mm hmm And that's because we have the white to mix it with. It's sort of like, yellow sort of like gold. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I'm, I, I have yellow, I have a light yellow, and I have a really light yellow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab another brush. Um, and it's good to have a lot of brushes and make sure you're always rinsing them. So these brushes are super nice that you got from school and you're always gonna stop and rinse them, okay? I have a lot. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to um, blend. So I have a lot of white. I have a lot of white in here. And I'm going to blend them together. Now, Sophie, you're going crazy. You're, you're discovering all sorts of colors over there, huh? Now, I wouldn't over, like, blend right there, Sophie. Because the whole point of the exercise is to discover different kinds of colors. Right? So, if you want to, like, paint, I can give you a separate painting. Do you want a separate paint? Do you want a separate canvas? Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to keep going with this. I'm going to pause the video. I... Exploring different colors. Okay? All right, so stay tuned on this playlist. We're working on doing yellow side of our color wheel. But we don't want to paint over stuff. We want to, we want to like, maintain that one bright color. Because we're trying to remember how we made the different colors. All right, guys, we're back. Um, so this is how the color wheel's going. Sophie got real excited. She was, like, figured out how to do skin color, and she likes this pink. So she's off to the side doing her own painting. Right? And that's exactly what this exercise is about. This is about like learning how to make colors with paint, right? And just playing with that. So look, this is my pure yellow. So look at this. This is the yellow without any, um, can't talk. This is the yellow without any white. And I'm kind of stippling that in. And it's so interesting, like, you know, now that we're in the spring and we're, like, working with acrylics, we get to say things like stippling and hatching and cross-hatching. 
all those drawing techniques we learned in the fall, they're still really relevant. Now, Sophie made this really cool skin color. Sophie, can I experiment mixing some of the yellow or some of the orange? You can. Okay. I'm going to do like some yellow orange, I think. So there are all sorts of different colors here. I'm going to take this. This is called yellow okra, which is a good color for skin. And notice, oh, look, it's, I got to open it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this. Ah! Okay, so yellow okra is kind of like a brown color, which is really great for like different kinds of skin tones. Yellow okra. And notice how I want everyone to like pay attention. I'm not using any black. Okay, no black. So what I'm going to do, I think, is I am going to, yellow okra is kind of like a brown. First I'm going to. So I don't know where this would go in the color wheel. I'm gonna, I'll go ahead, I'll put it right here. Like, it's kind of like a neutral color, so technically it would be outside of the color wheel. So oh, yeah. maybe I would put it it really wouldn't fall in between here. Mommy. It's I'm gonna put it on the outside. What? Mommy. You're oh you're ready to use pink? Uh, yeah, because I'm gonna use pink at the end of here. Okay. So I'm gonna rinse it so I don't make your pink all dirty. My students like Sophie, if you weren't in a class, would you just do pink? Mm, no. No, mom? I'll do some red and purple. And blue, because they're my favorite colors. So I think we should make a spot over here for kind of like neutral colors. And look, guys, look, I'm I'm leaving brushes with paint on them. You don't want to do that. So see right here, see how these brushes post pictures of you and videos of you cleaning your brushes to seesaw. You get some points. Um, I, I just love that you're closing it, Sophie. I think it's so great. Oh, no. It's okay. It's okay to get paint on you guys. So you're going to get messy. So we're going to do like neutral colors over here. A neutral... What white paint are you using? Neutral colors. Do you need white? Yeah. So guys, like, let me know at school if you need more white. Mm. Okay, here we go. I'm going to give you more white. Because look how fast it goes. We really do use a lot of it. And you're going to want extra white. I I haven't even touched this. Like if, if you go low on the white, if you run out of this and you can't get to school, you could use this, but I guarantee you're going to need white. So over here for the neutral, you're going to explore like the, the blues, the blacks. I, yellow okra is tricky because it's kind of like a brown. So we will explore that over here. So I got my yellow okra. Because I wouldn't really put, I don't know if I we should put yellow okra in the color wheel. Okay, so I'm doing yellow. Now I'm going to do my tint for yellow okra. So to kind of like uh, move a bunch of white over. Okay, so this is the this is like a yellow okra color. And I'm going to work on blending that together in a value scale. So just kind of exploring the yellow okra. And maybe I want to play with it a little in my color Mommy, wheel. Look, look what color I need with pink and white. Oh, good job, Sophie. Maybe I want to put a little yellow okra, but that's still pretty like strong yellow. So what happens when I mix yellow and um, yellow okra? Okay, it's kind of like a warm color. Okay, but see how it gets kind of dark? And what you're doing is you're kind of like exploring different color combinations. Okay, 
right, this is like super cool. So that's yellow okra. And I could put some of the pure color there. And what I want to see on your page is that you're just exploring color and you're blending. And this is one thing that we're missing in so many of the still lifes is people aren't going dark to light. Now, a lot of students don't like, um, don't like using paint because it makes you uncomfortable. And I'm going to tell you right here, like you want to use paint. Water. So look, I'm practicing over here, dark to light. What are you, um, what, what does, what does, um, 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 pink, pink and blue make? Pink and blue? I, uh, pink and blue would make like a pretty, like, purple? like light, light purple. Yeah. Okay. So Sophie, you're putting all the tops back on, right? So I just wanted to zoom in and show students like that you can kind of feather on top of like lights and darks and kind of like blend everything together. Now with acrylic, Mommy. you want to work on blending while it's still Mommy. light. Okay. Okay. So this is like starting the neutral side, but we're going to keep going with the color wheel, but browns and grays and stuff you can explore over here as well and like different skin tones we're going to keep going with this playlist you all all right everyone we're back i stopped to clean up and i realized that i lost a top to the paint so um what i would do everyone is i would like find a little cup somewhere in your space where you could put the tops of the paints or put the top on the paint right away like have a specific area where you put the top because like these little white tops they disappear um and we don't want to lose the tops okay so here we go we're back that's enough sky blue that's enough sky blue sophie's already jumped to cool colors um but while you have all of these paints here you can like explore making you know different kinds of skin tones and sophie always remember to put the top on okay oh yeah okay yeah. So, um, you know, like, you know, explore different things before the paint dries, right? Like try mixing yellow and the pink together. Try adding some white, um, mix some paint. Now, I, I talk to students who work on making skin tones and they get real frustrated. They say that it gets kind of like dark brown and mucky. But notice how I'm not using any... Um, Right now, I am not using any sort of, um, what am I trying to say, Sophie? I'm not using any black. So you can kind of like, you know, explore different skin tones and make kind of notes about how you made a skin tone. So I invite wow. you to go ahead and do that, right? Look what so, happened. That's fine. So as you're making skin tones, if you want it to get darker, you would add a darker color. We could kind of like do that later. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do right now, so if you remember to always put the top on. I, I didn't mean to snatch it from you. Is I'm gonna do a little bit of green. Okay, so I'm gonna keep exploring different kinds of colors. So I got my green, but I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna like explore some of the different colors. I'm going to put a little bit more yellow and just so I can like try doing some yellow green in a second. Okay. So here's my green and already look, there's some white that snuck over to this side and some pink is sneaking over. So you got to like you be on the lookout because that's going to mute. Look, the green's kind of becoming a gray color. So what's tricky is when you start to work with, um, when you start to work with, White. um, no, like cool colors, see, look, this is all pure, uh, cool and warm together. They're going to like dull each other out. So you can see this like green is kind of becoming a little bit dull because some pink mixed into it. Right. So, but that's okay. Like I want you guys to find that. Okay. So here's my pure green. 
I am going to take a second. I'm going to really clean this brush off. And I'm going to make over here some yellow green. Just explore. Now I have a lot of yellow. So I have a lot of yellow and a little bit of green because the green's pure. And I'm going to put some of that right here. Oh my, look at this brown that snuck over. So this is interesting. We're going to see like, when can you paint over a color? When can you not? So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to add right there. Okay. Now I, I, mm -hmm. I kind of went backwards guys and I didn't do my tints first. So I'm going to kind of like reverse now. Okay. I'm going to have an empty well and I'm running out of wells. So I should stop and I should clean. Okay, but I'm going to pull in, I only had a little bit of yellow green, only a little left. So I'm going to pull in a bunch of white, a bunch of white and only a dot. That's why you got to pick up the extra white. And really, I'm going to make, ooh, Sophie, look at this color. You may want to practice adding this. That's like turquoise. It's like this really, it's a yellow green tint. It's, and, it's turquoise. It's really like turquoise. Okay, and I'm going to add some of that. Okay, and now I am, Sophie, are you sure you don't want to use this in your painting? This is amazing. Now I'm going to add a little bit more my, yellow to my, this yellow green. My, my professional, very, my professional. Now I'm adding more, more pure color to the tint to kind of darken it up as I get closer. And we're just kind of, we're mixing colors today right but i want to see a lot of tints sort of in the middle and you're slowly trying to go from dark to light and we're not afraid we're not afraid of making a mistake okay so i want to do like a tint of green with a little bit less yellow so um, i'm running out of space so i'm gonna try over here so there was just a dot of green and a lot of white and I'm going to kind of blend that in see how dark so green is super dark because it has a lot of blue and I really don't want you guys skipping this assignment like we have an issue where folks are just kind of skipping assignments so again, the objective is to have like, it's kind of like a bunch of value scales really that we're doing, but we're just kind of reviewing and we're thinking about color. What is the Try oh. some of this, this color. Yeah. Wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put some of that in your painting in the middle. Okay. Now this color is kind of like in the middle. It has a lot of yellow and a little bit of green. So I am like thinking, wow, I love me personally. I love this color and I would want to use it for my mask personally. Okay. So it, the pure colors on the outside, just a reminder. And I almost, I'm wishing I made more of the yellow green. Maybe I can do more of that in a second. But I'm going to keep going with like different colors. All right, Sophie, it's just, you have a blue well over here. Can I use this? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do blue now. And I feel like Sophie already made a lot of blue tint. I'm going to take some blue. Again, I'm squeezing from the bottom. All I did was get, get did, some blue and then put a lot of white in it. Yeah. To make it like light blue because that's my favorite color. Oh, light blue is your favorite color? I like how you're slowly blending, Sophie, over there. So, yeah, like, painting gets really beautiful when you have this slow blend. And this, guys, is kind of like a, this is a soft boundary. It really is. And to have the patience to do this is totally important. Okay, so if I'm going to make a really light tint, Sophie did a lot of that work for me. But already a lot of it is pretty dark. But I'm going to scoop a lot of white. And I just have a dot of blue. 
And I'm going to start to put that in the middle. Oh, look, Sophie, look what happens when I have the sky blue next to this really light green. One of my most favorite colors in the world is blue green. So look, I see a chance right here. I'm going to make some blue green. I see an opportunity. Sophie, is there white in this green? Um, what green? This yeah. green. There's a little bit of white. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to make there some. There was a lot, but didn't make really a difference. Okay, I'm going to make some blue green right here. Okay, and now I'm going to have a green with more blue. Or uh, like blue, bl a lot of blue with a little bit of green, and I'll have this closer. See, I the stippling, I, I really feel like if you're just starting out with acrylic, stippling is a great way to go because it makes blending a lot easier. And then, um, oh, you know what? I lost my pure blue. So I am going to get a little bit more. You know what, I'm gonna put it right next to it. Sophie, I don't think you opened this all the way because it's a little stuck. Okay, so I'm squeezing, don't worry about it. Oh, I love that blending, Sophie. I don't know if you guys could see Sophie's painting over here and she's like blending some yellow and some green together. And she's using the colors we're discovering. Okay, look, I got a little bit of blue green over here, over on the color wheel. I'm not gonna trip. I'm not gonna worry about messing up because it's acrylic. I could just go over it. Okay, so here's my pure blue with no green. And it's okay if you're kind of like just kind of getting mesmerized by the, diff by the different colors. Like, that's fine. <gasps> Is that so pretty? <gasps> what? <laughs> okay, now I'm getting kind of like a medium, right? So I have my pure, I have my tint, and I'm going to kind of blend in a medium right here. So blue is a primary color. Sophie, look at all these different blues. Don't you love it? Okay, don't wipe your hands on my clothes. Okay. Now I don't want to lose the tints. Yeah. yeah, you can take some of the colors. It's all look. That's so pretty. I know, that's like my favorite color ever. So. I made it just for you, though. Aw, sweetie. And I made some for me. Again, you could. Now stop. Make sure you stop and you're taking care of your space. So I'm stopping and look. I have a clean brush. I really cleaned it. Gotta make sure the box is nice and clean. Okay, I'm going to dry it. So acrylic is different than watercolor, right? It's, and I'm gonna kind of try to blend the colors together. Now that's hard. So here I got some pure blue. Now there's such a huge difference between this white and that blue. That's fine. Maybe I can make, oh, I can use some of this sky blue. So I got light and then I got dark and I'm gonna kind of feather in between the middle. <gasps> Is this like so pretty? Mm. Wow, Sophie. Okay, Sophie's like ahead of me. She made like a blue green tint. So I'm gonna steal some of that and I'm gonna put this in the middle. Wow, so he's just like mixing up. Okay, use that all over your painting, babe. Okay. Like that's a great color. Really fill up some space. You don't wanna paint over any of your work though because you wanna keep the lights and the darks. You wanna keep all different kinds. I mean, look over here. It's okay, shiny. here I have a blue, like a really, really beautiful like this is a lot of white. So it's like, you gotta stop think like, how am I making this? This is a lot of white, but blue is so dark. Look how dark it gets, a little bit of blue green. Yes, I, and, the, and my body's saying, how am I making this too? 
Mm. Sophie, when you paint, are you just so happy? Are you like, this is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing? I'm going to add some darker green over here. Kind of blend this in. So for your mask, guys, for your mask project, I want you to have warm and cools. So today's about describing, uh, discovering different warms and cools that you might use. Okay, I want to really, I feel like I haven't fully explored blue and green, but I got so much tint here. So let's see what else we got here. So you have like a blue green. This is cerulean blue. Cerulean blue, I bet you, is like right here on the outside. And it's kind of like a little green. So this lesson is all about kind of, you know, exploring the different ones. Mommy, look at it. That is so great. Guys, check out what Sophie's doing. That is so cool. I really like the light tint next to that pure red. The light tint of green next to that pure red. Yeah. Don't, don't keep that. Don't over paint that. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes as painters, we overwork stuff. But you, don't be scared. Don't be scared of messing stuff up. Like really in an intro to art class, we're kind of expl Oh my gosh, look. I just broke it, Sophie. Alert, these paintbrushes in this are cheap but I'm still going to use it. Okay. All right, here we go. So this is cerulean blue and here I got my top. I'm going to put my top to the side. Okay. I am running out of space, everyone in my palette. So if you come to this where you're kind of like running out of space, you know, you could kind of clean it. I'm making violet. I love it. Oh, how did you make violet? Talk to the viewers at home. I just wiped this clean with a paper towel. I got a dot of blue and then I mixed it with the pink. Cerulean blue, everyone. Cerulean blue. I'm using violet. Okay. Okay, put it at the side. Yep. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, so this is pure cerulean blue. I'm just gonna like put this on the outside of my color wheel. Okay, this is pure color, pure, pure alert with no white. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm getting mesmerized by the paint. Okay, so blue is so dark. Look, I got some pink wandering in. That's gonna make it pretty dull, right? See the pink, it infiltrated into the um, this blue, cerulean blue tint. So it's gonna come up a little gray. I wouldn't trip about that too much. And you could put, you could kind of like put it over here, like be like, oh, okay, well that's how I made. I made like a blue gray by adding a little bit of pink and cerulean and you could kind of make notes for that. And we were kind of exploring with slowly transitioning. Okay, I'm gonna clean this from one color to the next. Blend that. I'm feathering, feathering, feathering. So you could explore feathering, blending, stippling. What if I made a really, really light blue? Mommy. Light cerulean blue. Mommy, look at this. Wow, I love that color, Sophie. I, and I love your, um, your like brush strokes are really confident. Maybe I want to explore adding a little bit of green to this. Break that up a little. We I'm have, making 
Okay, I have this dark green here. This is called Viridian. Maybe I should put that somewhere on the color wheel. Viridian. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, clean my brush opener side. Ah! All right. Did you break it again? No, I didn't. Okay, this is Viridian right out of the tube. Okay, now how am I gonna make this? I'm gonna take my driest. Notice how the water is getting gray. Why is the water getting gray? Well, because I need to wash it, but it's like warm and cool colors are coming together. So I'm gonna just clean out a well live. You can stop, you can rinse it all out, but then we would lose all this white. <sighs> I'm gonna be an art teacher. What? I'm gonna be an art teacher. I'm gonna be a dance teacher. I changed my mind. You're gonna be an art teacher? You don't wanna be a dance teacher? Both. You could be both. You could be whatever you want to be. Everyone, hear that live? You could be whatever you want to be. What happened to my Viridian, Sophie? Viridian? I don't know. I just like squirted some Viridian. I got a bunch of violet. You want to, you want to, um. Oh yeah, I got a, you know what? Your violet isn't pure because it has a lot of white in it. What? Your violet's great. Like your violet's awesome, but, but, and I'm going to use some in a second. I will. I will use some. That is so great. That's so great, Sophie. Okay, guys, I got distracted. So let, let me do this again. So I had Viridian. Oh, and look at me. I didn't put the top on. I'm the worst. Okay, and I cleaned a well. But you're also the best. Oh, Sophie. I'm going to cry. I'm discovering myself today on this, like, color mixing playlist. Oh, so cute. Okay, here we go. Okay, Viridian, right here. So Viridian's more of a kind of like a pure green somewhere in the middle. Did you already use some with violet? I haven't used violet yet. I just kind of want to, I, I, you know how I feel about green. T tell the viewers at home, how do I feel about green? Green is her favorite color. That's true. Okay, I'm going to, look, I'm running out of space, so I'm going to mix right here. I am straightening my back. Sophie, is your back hurting at all? Nope. Lucky, you're young. Okay, I think I'm gonna go over. I think I'm gonna do the purple side of my color wheel. Definitely purple. What? Why do you want that? So again, everyone, remember you want the middle of your color wheel to stay white and be filled with tints. So I'm feeling like I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna add a little bit more white. Have you done the violet yet? No, you like violet, huh? But I like your drawing better. You like it? Which one do you like better, mine or yours? Um, I like yours more because you're doing it. TBH. I'm just breaking up this color to try to have like sort of a slow transition from white to blue. Just letting everyone know what I'm doing. If anyone cares. Okay, just exploring color. Okay, I'm gonna temporarily stop. This video's been going for a while, but you could see we're making progress. We got some warm color exploration. We got now blue, yellow, red, the primaries, and then we're exploring the secondaries in the middle. This? All right, we'll be back. Okay, guys, so we are halfway through our color exploration lesson. I'm just getting some clean water. I really should have a clean tray, um, but I have all this white and I don't want to mix this white. Um, so like a bowl would help, but I'm kind of like wiping out this skin color and just make sure you pause and you're periodically, you know, cleaning. So your, your paints aren't like super muddy. Okay. I need a space to mix purple. Um, I'm realizing that a rag would really, really be helpful. So I'm looking around my space. Um, here, I found another paper towel. 
And I really want to, you know, stop and I don't want to lose this paint. Hey, where did the water go? Oh, I, I'm in the process of getting more water. I don't want to lose this paint. Right? So I'm going to like wipe all that out. I don't want to lose all these colors I've made, but I'm going to kind of clean a couple of wells. So always stop and clean wells when you're painting. Okay. So I got all this white here that I can make some purple uh, violet with. And Sophie's ahead of me. She's already like making a lot of purple tints. And so here we go. I got blue violet. Hmm, maybe I should start with like straight up violet. But I'll do this blue violet. Okay, and I am going to do this in the middle. So blue violet technically would be more over here. Sophie, do you have a pure violet? Did a did this paint set come with a pure violet? I can make it. Uh, Just show me the other purples you use because I'm exploring the purples right now. So this is blue violet. Okay, remember to stop, put the top on. Notice how I squeeze from the one. I use is that. You, you use this one? Okay, well, I just opened it. That's so weird. Maybe you use this one from the portrait project? Did you use that one? No. Okay, well, let me know if you find the purple you used. Okay, so look at all this white I have. So I'm going to pull that over. And it kind of has a yellow tint from all of my exploration. But here I go. Dot... I really should be using the bottom. Okay, wow, notice how fast that got dark. It got dark super fast. Okay, so rounding up the color wheel, going to the other side. I'm straightening my back. And one of the reasons we're doing this is because I know, like, when we introduce the markers to our repertoire, I feel like a lot of students didn't take the time to explore them, and they were, like, scared of using the markers. You see a lot of still life work, and kids don't use the markers. So we want to make sure that we um, are using our supplies, and we're not afraid of this paint. So much of this lesson is about not being afraid. You wanna take the time to explore, post a seesaw, and don't be afraid. So in the middle, again, we want super light, and then we wanna radiate out. Thinking to myself, exploring different colors. I'm gonna put some of the blue purple over here. I still have a little bit of blue because blue and purple, they're secondaries. So we're going over there, we're blending a little. Okay, so stay focused. Don't trail off. I'm adding a little bit more purple to my tint. Okay, so it's slowly getting darker. Um, it's up to you, Sophie. Why, do you want to keep it? Yeah, you want to give it to Well, we can make several paintings. Okay. For anyone. You could, like, make presents. Or you could keep them for yourself. Okay, so now I got some pure color. I'm going to just dive in. I'm going to put the dark pure color out on the end. Okay, and I'm finding that it's really, really hard to like blend acrylics, these acrylics in particular. So I'd love to hear everyone's thoughts. Okay. So I got a lot of white. So I am going to just, cause this is kind of leftover white. I'm gonna kind of like try to blend. So I want you to explore stippling. I want you to explore blending. So like purple, this purple, this blue purple, it is getting dark fast. So look, I'm feathering Sophie and I'm slowly blending the colors together. 
But yeah, it is a quick transition from light to dark. So I'm kind of like making a value scale out. So I want you to explore this blending. Again, I'm kind of like feathering the brush, a clean brush over and kind of blending out. So we're kind of exploring different kinds of blending with this assignment. Sophie. This is bad. Okay, it's not bad, we'll find the top. Okay, things that I wanna make. I wanna make a blue purple and I wanna make a red purple with what I got. Sophie, take deep breaths, it's gonna be fine. So look at all this purple I have. You don't wanna waste color. Right, so I'm gonna get some crimson red. Again, there's no wrong answer. And I'm gonna squirt that down. I need a little tiny brush. And I am going to, got this crimson red. And I'm gonna mix these together, red and purple, but it's mostly red. Can I have some of that? Mm -hmm. Mostly red though, okay, because the purple's so strong. Yep, go ahead. So I'm gonna put that here. Ooh, look how dark that is, Sophie. What? This like red purple. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna put the more purpley stuff over here. I wonder if I could blend them together. Like slowly transition from red to purple. Oop, you see how that red went over into my pure color? It's fine, I'm not gonna trip. I'm just gonna take my brush and I'm gonna feather. Feather, feather, feather. I think I'll use more blue. Sophie, you should try this method, this blending method. But now we don't have any more pure color because we mixed it all. And that's fine, because we are exploring. Okay, I gotta do my tint. So before I move on, I gotta take this color, I gotta like mix it with a tint. So I have a ton of white in here. Don't move the white into this color. Can we take... give these paintings to each other? Yeah. You wanna make that for me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so notice how I pulled that in. I'm gonna start working. You're gonna start working? What do you mean? On, um. Okay, ooh, look at this color, Sophie. Can I have some of that? Yeah, use some of that. Hmm, look at my pink one. Okay, so this is kind of like a really like, look how dark this is, wow. So I'm kind of breaking this up. Now this is kind of like getting kind of like a little dull and neutral. You see some grays. I bet you it's because I have, um, um, I probably didn't mix very well, right? So like this is like red, purple, tinty white, but it's, it's gray because I bet you some of this yellow is infiltrating in. And you know, you can explore that, like take some of this like skin color that's left over and kind of like make some different colors, you know, and put some different color combinations together. I want to see, a page where you've really mixed a bunch of colors. Okay. Um, I feel like I need some blue purple in my life. So I'm going to take, we haven't used this one yet. Phalo blue. Can I try some? Mm -hmm. You excited to make a tint out of this? Yeah. Okay. A lot of this we have to use. I know, this. aren't the students lucky to have this? Mm -hmm. Guys, you're so lucky to have this. Sophie saw it, she was like, oh yeah, this is the coolest thing ever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you want it in yours, okay. So again, just a reminder, squeeze from the bottom. Squeeze from the bottom. Okay. So I think we should call this acrylic painting 101. Notice how we haven't used any black. We haven't used any black people. What do you say? Um, thank you. Well, I do need to wash my hands. 
Do you want to follow Daddy up and wash your hands and then come back down? Um, do you like how my painting's doing? Well, I don't know if you should. Do you want to? Yeah. Okay, guys, we're back. I should really stop and rinse. Stop and rinse. Make sure you. Everyone stop <laughs> and rinse your cup. Okay? So I'm going to actually pause the video and I'm going to get some more water. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. Wait, do I really paint? Don't eat paint. Okay, we, right now on this playlist, I'm exploring the crafts for all acrylic paints with my daughter, right? So like what we're doing is we're doing a color wheel. Um, and yeah, we've been working for like, kind of like a huge part of the morning, huh, Sophie? Mm -hmm. Right, so we got some like pure blue over here and I'm just gonna start to fill in this space. And I want the darkest colors on the outside. I've got pasta for a snack because it's my favorite food. My second favorite food. Sushi is my favorite food. Awesome, Sophie. And what do we really want to do is we want to make a blue purple. So I'm going to do blue and purple. And also some apples. Blue purple. Um, to have in the middle of this color wheel. You go, Sophie. So I stopped and I organized the paints and, you know... You may want to, like, if you have to ever stop, you have to stop, you have to make sure you clean your brushes with dish soap um, because this, th this paint will ruin the brushes. So we're going to do a whole series on cleaning the brushes. But I got a blue-purple here. So I'm going to put that, this blue-purple color out on the outside. And, yeah, like, that is cool. Ooh, I am loving this blue-purple. Sophie, look at this blue-purple. You may want to use some of this pure blue. Yeah. So she's going to go ahead. She's going to use it. But let me mix the blue purple with the white to get my tint as I go on the inside. I need some. I need some. I need some. And look, I can do a cool hard boundary right there. Sophie, wait. Let me finish using it. Okay. So I'm kind of making a mid-tone right there and kind of trying to break all that up. So you can see on my palette, I have all different values, light to dark. I'm kind of blending it all together. Okay, so we go and use. Okay, but you don't want to like not explore colors like blue purple because that might be the perfect color for your mask. You never know. Okay, I'm kind of breaking up all of that white because what we want to see is a dark to light. And I feel like I have too much tint crawling up here. So I can go ahead, I can. Mommy, look at this light purple joined with a dark purple. <clears throat> yeah, I know, that's so awesome. So look, I have this like red blue. Oh, it's getting a little muddy, but look I can. Uh, oh, can I have that? Ooh, and look what I just did, Sophie. I just painted over the pure purple. Can I have some? So I'm gonna have to go back in and put that in, but it's okay, cause it's acrylic. Where is it? Where is it? Um, right there. So I'm going to come back in and with my purple and I'm just going to go, I have leftover purple from when I did my portraits. So me, I might just use that because it's like just kind of sitting here. Um, some of you have this leftover from the school, but Sophie just took my purple. So I'm going to like bring that in. But again, on the outside, we want it darker, right? So what you're showing me is you're showing me that you have the discipline for, to go from dark to light. It's so smooth. So I could kind of, this is light here because there's a lot of water. So more water, it's going to be the lighter. So I might need to do a different coat. Notice that like dot of purple that went in there. And look, I'm going to blend the red. So this this paint from school, which some of you have, some of you don't, is kind of like a tempera. Okay, but I'm exploring, like, well, what does it look like when I put certain colors together? Like purples. Now this right here is amazing because you got this dark right here. So I want you to make sure you're going dark on the edges of your color wheel project. Here you go, mommy. 
Wait, wait, wait. Now we did a color wheel project first semester, but this is sort of a needed review. It's really important to review color theory at all times. Okay, I'm rinsing some. I'm um, rinsing some things. I feel like I could have more red out here. Really put this in here. I'm gonna take a little. Don't tell anyone. I'm just gonna squirt red right there, right on the page. Don't tell anyone, Sophie. Uh, because Sophie took my tray. And now I'm going to work on blending. Sophie, I don't mean to bl uh, blame stuff on you. Stippling this in. I was about to give it to you, but I saw something. You want to give it to me? Really, I saw something really, really. Okay, really I'm going to take some of your tints right here. I'm going to mix. Guys, I. Okay, here we go. So I have a lot of white. I have like a yellow white. Oh, here's a bunch of white. Okay, so I'm going to make, I'm going to, I feel like I need like a red mid-tone right here. And guys, you don't need to do this exactly how I'm doing it. I'm just kind of like giving you, you know, some ground rules. Like I want you to explore all the paint. Like this is a skill build, building exercise. I want you to explore uh, using different colors. Okay, so... I feel like I need some more red orange out here. Oh, some please. really intense red orange. Please. So this right here, this is pretty dry. It's a little dusty, but it's pretty dry. You could stop and rinse your trays. Like that would be really good for you to do. So this is acrylic. This is the orange that kind of looked a little bit like brown. I feel like all the oranges look brown. What do you think, Sophie? So I'm going to try to make more of a red orange. What is this? Vermilion. Let's try that. Okay, we haven't used this one yet. Okay, so I'm going to mix the, I'm going to have this viril, this vermilion acrylic paint, crafts for all, it's kind of like a red orange. So to kind of balance out my color scale, having the pure colors on the outside, I'm going to go ahead and I, oop, there's purple that's wandering in there. Happy little accidents, isn't that what Bob Ross says? Look at the purple that kind of wandered in. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to put that on the outside. And, you know, I can explore different strokes, too, in this lesson. Right? See how I'm kind of feathering around? Okay, so just so everyone knows, vermilion, very much to me, is feeling like... Um, Sophie, what am I trying to say? Help me. Uh, vermilion to me is feeling like red orange. That's what I'm trying to say. It's feeling very red orangey to Look me. Look what I made your pink. Oh my gosh, Sophie, that's so cool. So Sophie's over here. Sophie, show us what you're doing. It's kind of like a grayish red. And she's making her painting over here. And that is possible. Because we're finding different colors. We're searching and we're exploring. We're finding different colors live. So I really, now I'm going to kind of like make a red orange over here. So I'm kind of like, I want you to fill up the page. Really fill up the page. So this, gosh, this orange is very brown to me. So I'm mixing the ver vermilion with the red. And I'm kind of, now look. Or sorry, this is like, this is, sorry, vermilion with the orange. This is vermilion and orange. Look how powerful this orange is. Okay, and I'm going right over my pencil where I wrote warm. So this is my warm side. It's really kind of exploring pure colors. There's no white in this mixture right now. But I got to pause every once in a while and I got to capture the tints. Okay, what happens when I mix this red purple and this red orange. Is it gonna get muddy? Bum, bum, bum. Oh, it's kind of, kind of like getting like more of a darker shade. Remember, Mom. 
I'm gonna do like hatching out here. Is that your color wheel? Yeah. Does it not look like a color wheel anymore? Well, I don't. Not really, because I don't see your um. The things. The names. Now remember, mommy, we're giving these paintings to each other. Oh, okay. So this is gonna be yours. And that's gonna be yours. Oh, so cool. Okay, I need some white. So what happens when I add white? So it's kind of like red purple. I'm gonna get like a mid-tone and a mid-pink. So now I can blend, see that went like dark to light. I can kind of like bridge that and get the color in the middle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now it's time for a little more of this. A little more of that. And a little more of that. And a little more of this. Ooh, that made like this bluish color. A lot of tint happening here. And it's cool because then you could kind of like, you know, your color can wander from one side to the next. And you can play with different kinds of colors. I'm liking this, Sophie. Okay. okay, but I feel like I need more yellow to balance out all this purple. What do you think? I got all of this yellow. I lost the top to this, so I should really use this Naples yellow. Look, I'm going to squirt right on here. Maybe we'll find the top so I'm not going to waste it all. Do you want some yellow on your painting, Sophie? Look, I'm actually, like, drawing with the crafts for them all. Okay. Again, look at how much brushes I have. This is why we picked up so many brushes from the school. Oh, we stop. You don't want, like, you could stop and you could clean. Like, that might be good. This is greenish gray. Green you should gray. have soap. I don't have soap down here, but you should have dish soap this. nearby. And your hands is the best way to clean. This. Whoa. Use that, girl. Where are you going to put it? I would put it, I would outline this with that. Or, you know what, put opposites next to each other. Put that right next to the red, maybe. Okay, so if your colors are ever looking dull, it's because, like, warms and cools are coming together. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is pure Naples yellow right here. Now, that yellow and purple are the opposites of each other. Pasta is so yummy. Okay, so I have a lot of yellow happening here. Yellow is the lightest color, right? And I don't have much of a tint. So let me make my tint. Never have too much yellow. I am going to go ahead. I'm going to take my white. Or sorry, never have too much white. You need a ton of white. Ooh, look, I just got some white right there. I always got in trouble in college for mixing right onto the canvas, but sometimes that's okay, I think. Okay, so I have my white. There's actually a bunch of yellow down at the bottom. And I'm going to kind of blend. Notice how quickly the white kind of gets overpowered by the color, so you have to kind of bring it back. In college, we're in art school. Yeah, I was in art school in college. Cool, huh? And you weren't allowed, and you weren't allowed to mix white with stuff. Um, we we were supposed you're supposed to mix on the canvas. Okay, now I'm mixing up my yellow and my white. So now I have a lot of like yellow tint. Maybe I can explore making skin tones some more over here. Okay, but. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find a color in between this yellow and here and kind of blend out because I'm practicing using acrylics on this, this whole YouTube playlist for the students.
Okay, I got this pure orange. Maybe I can mix this pure orange with this. Kind of get a color in between. Are you putting that on YouTube? Well, we have to put it on YouTube because we don't have enough instructional minutes with our students. So, like, they need to do this during academic prep. Right, students? We're going to do this during academic prep. Okay, I need, like, a pure yellow-orange down here. Right, so where's my orange, Sophie? Orange. The closest thing I have to orange is this thing that's called orange. So I'm going to put that right in there. Yeah, the closest thing is to orange is that thing that's called orange. I'm going to put a little here so I can play with making some more skin tone. I'm practicing making skin tone. Okay, this, I feel like I, it's yellow and then it's orange. So the trouble with this orange is I feel like it has got a lot of black in it, right? And a yellow is really overpowering. So the yellow is no match for this like dark orange. It really isn't. Naples yellow. So you need way more. Now this is dry, just pointing it out, but you need way more yellow. And then I, it's like a dot of orange. Seriously, a dot. Just a dot. And maybe I could even use this. This lemon yellow in a second. Okay, look. This is so much dark. So when you're adding a dark color, only doing a dot of the dark. So seriously, just a dot. Oh, look how quickly it went down. I felt like that was too much. Ooh, now I have kind of like this mustardy yellow. And now I'm going to try to blend them together. Mixing on the page. Tisk, I'm going to do watercolor. You're going to do watercolor? Mm -hmm. But we're, we, you have all this other paint. So this, this is it. Sophie is demoing something which is important. She was going to leave this brush with paint sitting on it. Don't do that. Okay, you're not in trouble, Sophie, but you got to rinse it. Otherwise, it's going to ruin the brush. You think you can use watercolor with this? Okay, guys. You're a watercolor teacher. I am a watercolor. I'm an everything teacher. So I'm getting a little distracted, but remember I was trying to make yellow orange, and look, I just got a little bit of purple on my brush, so this is going to come out duller. Okay, but look, I'm kind of exploring blending. Maybe now I'll do a little darker. Blending everything together. Okay, so let's darken this up with some blue. Kind of finish up this color wheel. This is leftover from the portrait. You may have some leftover paint. Use it for this exercise because you're just exploring different colors. But again, your darkest color. I have not used any black today. Just throwing that out there. I haven't used any black in this exercise. I know you're going to love this, Mommy. I'm going to love it because I love you. Like how it's doing? I love it. It has it has black all over it. <laughs> I would I would try to cover your whole canvas, like really fill up the whole canvas. I feel like it could make some more blue green over there. Look, I got this one well that's pretty dry. I'm gonna make some more blue green to kind of fill this up. So green and red should be opposite each other. Green. Look, this isn't opened. You guys have so many colors. Sophie, how many colors do you think the students got? Uh. Okay, opened up the green. We haven't even used this green in this color wheel yet. So we got some pure green. Mm. Okay, 
We'll put that on the end. But color, so much of painting is about mixing. Okay, now I'm, oh, look what I did. Got a little bit of, I'm gonna just dab that up. That is a happy accident I don't want, but I'm not gonna trip, because I can just paint over that. Okay, so I'm gonna try to fill up all the space. Look how painty I am. I am painty. I'm going to try to fill up my whole page by mixing some blue green. Now I have this really like, look at this color, this it's called ultramarine, not used. It's almost like a black. So I hesitate to use it, but I feel like it'll balance the weight out on this. Now, look, I got a little dab right there. Okay, I'm gonna put that there, ultramarine. I'm gonna have that in the Ooh, corner I opposite. Okay. You're gonna love the green. And I'm gonna put that out there. Now what happens when I mix, look at this. This is like, it's wandering everywhere. What happens when I mix ultramarine with the pure green? What kind of color am I gonna get? Ooh, look at that. Loving this. So I'm gonna kind of blend that in. Hmm, gotta be careful. There, we got red here and we got green. Red and green, it's, we gotta be careful because red and green would make like a brown. It's almost like I need more pure white. Oh, but I got all this yellow, this yellow white. I think I wanna use this. I said I was gonna use it for skin tone, maybe not. And I'm gonna kinda blend this out make like a like a blue a blue tint a blue green tint so i don't have to worry about yellow messing with blue too much because it's still in the green family it's on they're all friends i don't have to worry about it getting too dull that is awesome girlfriend i don't have to worry about it like like so why do we do color wheels we know that colors opposite like when I when I'm mixing like blue and orange they're kind of opposite each other when I'm doing that that's when it gets muddy but these are all sort of in the same family so I don't have to worry about the colors getting muddy what happens when I kind of wander some yellow stipples over here Lovely. Sophie, what do you think? You're going to love this. Okay, I, you know, I love green. And I know this is the yellow area, but I love it when the green wanders. Okay, so I got a lot of white here. I made it a little dirty by putting the yellow in. Let's explore some more neutral colors over here before we're done with this lesson. Some more like darks and grays and stuff and grays and browns. Okay, everyone, we're back. I really should have a dish bin here, but I'm hiding from my two-year-old, whose name is Max. And if I go upstairs, I'm not gonna be able to finish painting. So I am just using this wipey and I'm trying my best to kind of clean up. But you really should have some dish soap nearby. That is the one mistake I made. Okay, so I want to wanted to make the point that like, we should think about browns and grays kind of like in a different color family. They're sort of a different color family. So we want to give ourselves time to explore those, right? So burnt sienna, very famous brown. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to open that. Okay. Opening that up, giving myself a squirt of that. I wiped it clean, hopefully... It does, like, what, whatever's left over doesn't muddy the color too much. Okay, and then I am going to take some of my white, leave, leaving plenty for my mask work, which is coming up when I paint my mask later on. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to clean that up. 
stopping and cleaning. So I have tons of white. And what I want to do on this page, this was yellow okra, I remember. And I was start, starting to discover skin tones with Sophie when we were working over here with all of our tints. Again, there's no black, there's no brown over here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to explore the browns and the grays over here. So for this, I feel like because grays and browns aren't really part of a color wheel Wait, you you use the wipings yeah was the wipey yours yeah okay so this is burnt sienna sorry here you go i need some of that <laughs> you like that color mm -hmm. Very okay so wow my daughter really likes that brown she's going for it Okay, so um, I got a lot of brown on the brush. Just want to throw out that I'm always I'm keeping my brushes. You you should I'm being a bad teacher right now. I should stop and clean once in a while, like maintain my brushes. I'm going to do it in a second, but you want to periodically stop and clean your brushes so they they don't go to waste because you could really ruin the brushes. Right, so and go in. And I got a lot of white and see how the brown is wandering over. Okay, remember, mostly white. Okay. Oh, that is so interesting. You wanna know why this is gray? It's gray because my tray is so dirty. Like it's starting to get really hard to get a pure color, but look. Okay, so now I'm just really playing around with blending. I feel much more freer because I have more space. But this is like burnt sienna, slowly going to white. And what I want you to do with your dull colors is just, you know, do some value scales with the dull colors. So I got a lot of white. So can I blend? That's, that's too big of a difference. So, wow, well, Sophie, that's awesome. <laughs> There's going to okay. be a bunch of splats on it. So, um, I'm kind of like out of pure burnt sienna because I'm getting sloppy with my mixing. So, let me put a little bit more there. Okay, always put the top on. Okay, here's my pure burnt sienna. Bring it in. Okay, now I got my white. I'm going to try to make a color in between these. Okay, feathering it, feathering it. Oh, I'm kind of messing with that pure blend right there. Feather, 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 slowly to white. Can I bring in some of the white now? Mixing on the canvas, mixing. Burn sienna, people. Notice how it's like wandering over there. See if you could slowly go to white. All right. So what happens? Yeah. I'm done. You're done? I would fill in the white. I would fill in more of the white. Yeah, I really would. I would, I would like, look, look at this dark red. You could do some blues. Okay, so let's keep on moving and trucking. You got this gray color. Trucking or truck? Mm-hmm. Now, you could make gray, everyone. Sophie, how do you think you make gray? I don't know. You make gray with um, a lot of white and a little of black. But let's just explore it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to just put that right there. So gray would be a neutral color. Okay, going to put the top back on, always squeezing from Can the I bottom. Can have some purple? Can you have some purple? And some white. Purple, why don't you take this white? 
We may want to stop and clean the our trays, Sophie. Okay. So I got my pure gray. So this is the gray. Sophie, it's gonna spill all over you. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, where do you need the white? Tell me. Right there. Right there. There, there. Oh no. Okay, there you go. Okay, we're still on live. So you could actually make this yourself, but you got it. Because Miss Boteo's awesome. So we got the gray. Maybe we can try slowly adding in some black. So here we are, like way into this plate. Well, let's, before we do black, because black is so powerful. Black at the end. Before we do that, let's let's finish our value scale with this gray. So I got a lot of white, right? And it's getting mixed into the gray. I don't know if you guys can see the gray. It's kind of like wandering around. And I'm going to do light gray. Wait, you're making gray? Well, there is gray, but I'm making lighter gray. You want to try using some of it? But I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, like, practicing, like, blending from one color to the next. So instead of it being, like, gray and then white, I want it to slowly go to white. But this is, like, I'm working on neutral colors on this side. Yeah, I'm going to stay away from black right now. Maybe I'll add some black in a second. Notice how some blue wandered in. That's cool. Okay. There are other colors, other dull colors yet to explore. I mean, Crafts for All, woo! They are not sponsoring this video. Maybe they want to, Sophie. What? Maybe this paint company should sponsor us. Okay, I got Raw Umber. Raw Umber is more of a dark brown color. I think, I may, I think I'm making your ah, like, this purple is hard. color. You're making it? Ow, wow. Oh, look, that just popped out. But it's going to be light. Wow. I just Okay, this raw umber, just so everyone knows, is really... Oh, I'm getting tired, so it is really, 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 really dark. Like, look at all the black. There's so much black in this. I still have not opened black. Look, I'm so far into this. But look, it's so dark. It like some of it just squirted out. So this is like you use your dark values at the end, people. Look, I feel like I need to add some yellow okra right there. Oh no, wait, that's Naples yellow. Damn. Okay, I'll fix that in a second. Did I just say damn? Yep. Awesome. Okay, so how do I handle this? This is like the darkest color ever, right? So I don't know. I'm going to like just put some white in. See, can I dull it down? Do you want some of this pink stuff? Uh, I think, you know, that is a super pretty color. Shut the front door. Come here. Because I did make a lot. <laughs> look, look what my daughter made. I'm going to add this to my color wheel. Sophie, I didn't have this color. Thanks. You're making my color wheel so much better, girlfriend. Thank you. There you go. So again, in this section, we're kind of like learning about different colors, learning how to make different colors. Look, I got that little blob there. I'm not tripping. I'm going to do a whole playlist. What does tripping mean? Um, it's like I'm not like freaking, you know, I'm not going to freak out. Okay, look, I'm blending. Can I have a slow transition from dark to light? Yes, I can. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Don't be afraid of the page. Don't be afraid of the page. Paint at home. Explore at home. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, now it's getting whiter. Can I have I, to add some of my white, too. Can I blend these? They're still, so the paint is still wet over here. So I'm just blending it out. 
Blending it out. Do you want to add some of this to your color wheel? Um, yeah, totally. So Sophie made more of a tint, right? So yeah, thanks, Soph. Helping me out, girlfriend. I love it. So I'm kind of like blending that in. Wow. Not overdoing it. Want to leave some white out. Thanks, Sophie. So this is kind of like a blue, a blue How long red we're tint. Add these to each other? Uh, well, we're going to keep working on it. I think you should fill in all this space. Okay. I'll leave the spots? Well, it's up to you. Like, you can edit it as you go. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. This is good. I have not explored black yet. But I want to start a different painting. You want to start a different painting? Well, I don't know if that one's done, sweetheart. That's going to me. So black is the last one. Black. I'm starting to get tired. I think it's time for a break. This is enough academic prep for today, I, I. Not enough for me. Not enough for you? You're going to keep going? Until, until, until the uh, end of the day. All right. I love it. So, black is so strong. Okay? It's so strong. I'm going to actually try to open it over the tray. Okay? It is so strong. I'm gonna, I, we just need a dot. On Paquito. Okay. So I saved it for the end of this exercise for a reason. You want to know why? Because it's so powerful. It's like it, you, you got to practice. Like we did all this practice so we could arrive at the black. So ton of white. Okay. Ton of of white ton okay look at all this white i got okay almost all of it's dried so none of these colors are really infiltrating the white because i've been doing this for so long again just a reminder my brushes are, brushes are sitting here most te most like if this was like if these were expensive brushes i wouldn't let them sit like this but you know they're not super expensive and for the purpose of the exercise i don't want you guys stopping and cleaning every two seconds i took a dot of black look at how quickly see i told you we could make this gray look look we made it okay so we're going to make a value scale up at the top okay so i'm gonna have my white i'm funny yeah, because you said I told you, but they didn't, you didn't tell them. I did tell them. No? Nope. I'm blending these together. But they didn't tell you cannot do it. Say so you cannot do it. You're saying I'm not telling my, I, I'm making stuff up? Yep. Okay, I'm taking my pure black. Can I start a different painting now? Um, I feel like you should have some more blues, more yellow. I think you should put more yellow in. I'm just giving you feedback. Whoa, look at how that. a lot of yellow. Like, like bright yellow. Bright yellow? Mm-hmm. Can I help you with it? Yeah. Cool. Especially because you're the best artist I've ever seen. Aw, stop it. Okay, dark. Sophie, you're the best. So now I'm trying to make a darker gray with all that black. Ugh. But I, it's hard to blend. Let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Feathering, feathering, feathering. All right, guys. I don't know about you, but I'm getting pretty tired. But I'm going to drag some of this gray over, make some mid-tones. But what we did today was we were, we, we were exploring colors. Okay, I feel like I could have done a little bit more. I kind of want to, Sophie, can I mix some burnt sienna and some burnt umber? See what happens over here. But I want you to. Let's just see what happens when we mix burnt sienna. Closing that. 
with some burnt up. Oh, well, yes. that came out fast. Oh, that's like pastel. Pastel? Mm -hmm. You know what we should do too, Sophie, is we should do a video where we clean brushes for the students. Okay, I rinse the brush. When you're rinsing brushes, you really want to go ahead, press down on the bottom of the I cup. These. Okay, so pick them up. And we are running out of time, but look. Burnt sienna and... You know what? I should have had more. I should have had more burnt sienna. Because the... the so, so let it be known that the umber is so powerful. All right, guys. So I'm going to take a picture of this. And I am going to post it to Seesaw. I'm going to kind of... Ex kind of wrap this up a little. I'm filling up the space. Mommy, I want to start a different painting. Okay, let's do it. But so this is one page where I explore dull colors. So those are like browns and grays and one page where I did a color wheel. Okay. And that is, this is like an exploration lesson to go ahead and bring us into um, like this new unit where you're actually using, um, acrylic paints, which is so exciting. Hashtag thank you donors choose. Okay. So there you go. I still have a blob of yellow there. Maybe I can just even that out, but yeah, everyone have a good day. I hope you had fun. Um, please make sure that you watch the next couple of videos where we Take the time to clean the brushes. Bye now. Okay, hi everyone. Welcome back. We're just, I already washed them. We're working on like how to clean our brushes right now. Make sure you have an open sink, okay, with a lot of water. And um, it is like such a mess here. Can I pour but the dish but no, we're not we're not gonna pour a ton of dish soap. But you, we, I wish I had more water. Max, don't put the paintbrush in your mouth. No, 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 no. I don't put, don't pour. Okay. Did you put that in your mouth? No. Okay. So, guys, another thing, too, like working on art at home, you got to keep stuff away from your siblings. So, I put dish soap in my hands. Okay. You want to clean each brush by rubbing. I have a puddle of dish soap in my hands. I'm taking it. And Max, don't drink that. Don't drink that. So you, you, like, you know, the challenge with doing, don't cry. And it's okay. We can have crying on YouTube, right? Okay. So it's okay, sweetie. So what you want to do is you want to rub each brush. You want to clean each brush in your hands, right? And you want to keep rinsing. You want to keep rinsing. I wish I had more water. I'm downstairs away from a sink. But you want to keep rinsing until there's like no water at all in the brushes, right? So ideally I should have more, more water in here, right? And I should have more paper towels down here. Okay, so, and then same thing with the tray, right? So I kind of like, I, I'm getting most of the paint out, right? I got a lot of soap in my hands, right? So I'm checking and, and a lot of the paint's coming out. I'm also managing my son as you guys are at home. And this, I can't find the top, so. You want to put all your trays in and fill it with water. You want to fill it with water, okay? More more later. Obviously have like more of a rag. In. Okay, guys. Just turned it on. I'm back. I got a lot more water. Hopefully, hopefully this doesn't die. Okay. Um, or hopefully the phone doesn't fall in. So again, where was I? Um, you want a lot of soapy water and you got to make sure that when you're cleaning a brush that 
um, there's no paint in the box, right? So you gotta go through, take your um, paper towel and really like take the time to kind of clean this. And you know what? It's, they're not gonna get clean like your paint palette. It just won't get completely clean, but you can try the best. But so much art, which we don't really talk about, is like managing and like taking care of brushes and things. So you really want to make sure you soak your brushes. And like I was doing a second ago, just so we're clear, you take the soap, you put the soap in your hands, and then clean, 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 rub, 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 till the box, you don't want any sort of paint in the box of the brush. Okay. 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 And then I'm cleaning all of that up. Okay. So once I have done, I already did this in another video. Like I rubbed all these brushes just to be clear. You got to make sure every brush is clean and then you want to swish it around in the soapy water some more. Oh, look, I found another brush. So again, clean, 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 clean. So I'd love for you to make little notes in your journal about this video and how you're gonna clean your brushes. Post those notes to Seesaw, cleaning your brushes. Okay, um, I'm just checking the sink, making sure I got all my brushes out, making sure there's no paint. And you can kind of do a test right and if you don't see any color coming out then it's clean right and you really want to like do it on your hands because there's something about the texture of hands okay now just going to talk a little bit about organizing my space right so obviously i want to take a paper towel and i want to clean if you're in my class live you might be dealing with multiple ones make sure you separate but take the time to, to with a clean paper towel, wipe out the palette. There's tons of soap. So we're really pressing down hard on each one. So we're gonna do this at the end when we're painting with acrylics, right? So like take notes in your journal. And there you have it. Cleaning, 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 cleaning. Okay, what am I doing? I am taking a clean paper towel and I'm just cleaning out each well because a lot of paint can hide and that's why these things get dry. Okay, same thing with this. Cleaning, 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 cleaning. Really wiped out each well. I can put this back in right here into this bin or into your sink. Maybe your mom has a dish bin you can use. I'm just gonna separate them and I'm gonna let them soak. So I'm gonna put that to the side. If you don't clean up after yourself, your mom's not gonna let you do this. So make sure you clean your space for any sort of paint. Now look, this happens all the time. There are big disastrous spills. I don't know when this happened, but it happened someday, sometime today. Happens more often when you're painting with other people or little kids. So I am taking a rag. You could take a rag and go ahead and clean. Now, luckily, this is a table that we don't care about. But you guys might have tables that you care about. So something to think about. All right. So I need to actually take a break and go and get a towel. But all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a towel or rag and I'm gonna keep cleaning this up. Okay, I'm back, still cleaning up the giant mess. You need to take care of materials and not be so messy like me, but some of us are messy. So you just gotta like, within your planning, give yourself time to clean up the space, right? And really like wipe things up. Now, during this whole work session, I lost one top. I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna preserve this yellow and I'm going to use the top from the gray on this because I know 
I can make gray. I have plenty of black and hopefully the top will show up. Okay, if you're still with me, I hope you enjoyed that uh, video. I hope you're painting with me. Please subscribe. I really hope that this uh, lesson is also useful to um, teachers who are teaching art remotely in the future, wherever you are. Um, thank you so much. Bye-bye-bye now.